So let me show you a little bit of uh, some of the features that uh, Jeff talked to you about, uh, but live running on the new Zenfone AR. Uh, so this is the dressing room app um, by Gap. And uh, what it has in here is a panel here for a few different types of clothing. And one of the things I want to mention is that shopping for clothing or making the clothing shopping experience has generally been notoriously difficult. Uh, when you look at a thumbnail of images like this on the phone or on a website, it's really hard to get a sense for exactly how well the garment will lay on, uh, on the form and how the clothing will drape and the sizing and fit as Jeff described. Um, and so what's unique about this uh, experience is that it uh, dramatically improves the shopping experience that we feel like for, that can be made for uh, clothing. So rather than just stick with these uh, 2D mocks uh, where we have female and male clothing, I can say, uh, let's start uh, shopping for some shorts. I know it's winter time, but uh, say we're planning for like a resort trip uh, to get away from the cold weather, and I need a new pair of shorts. So what I can do is I can uh, take the second item, which is the side stripe shorts. I, t I tap on it and drag it to the carpet. And it's going to ask me for, well, what's my body size? And I'm very much on the sort of extra large side of, side of, side of things. Uh, but when I press try it on, it actually loads a 3D mannequin that actually represents my body type. Uh, and this is actually using GAP's uh, accurate fit model that they use when they're designing clothes. Now, the neat thing about the tracking that we provide is that we can actually look at the garment from different angles. And he's registered there on stage, kind of as though he's in front of me, and he's accurate in terms of physical size. So if I come down here, I can actually look at the, uh, the details on the shorts, and I can even get up close to some of the stitching. And I'm not actually very big on short shorts, so I actually like to have my, ba my uh, shorts uh, go a little bit below the knee. And so I can move it to extra large, and I can see how uh, the garment changes in length and fit as I choose these different options. So say I'm shopping for something for uh, my wife. Uh, so let's drag over this uh, other uh, um, address. And it loads a female model. Um, this is a mixed print split neck top. Um, but my wife actually uh, isn't a size 10 as, um, as this model loaded up by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this to change the body type and change it down to size two, which is closer to the size of my wife. And it loads in a new model that's a little bit smaller. And you can see that the clothing is actually represented uh, with all of its folds and creases. But what's really important to know is that what's interesting that Gap and Avametric did is that this is not a handcrafted 3D model. This actually takes Gap's uh, CAD designs for their clothing and Avametric uses uh, physics simulation from the special effects industry to actually simulate how the clothing will fit on this particular model. And so this doesn't have to require hours and hours of professional modeling time. It's simply a computer simulation of the physics. And so when I change the size of the shirt, it shows how it fits. But the difference between the small and the extra small is noticeable because when I have the small up, you can see that it hides a lot of the contours of the mannequin. When I press on the extra small, which is more appropriate for this particular mannequin size, it uh, fits much better on the ma mannequin and shows much more contour of the body. And so all of these things help provide consumers more confidence that the item that they're actually going to commit to purchase is really the one that they really want. And of course, you can see there's a purchase button on the bottom of the screen. So let's take another look at another interesting feature of this, uh, which is just um, uh, being able to compare multiple sizes at the same time. So this is loading up a model for a large uh, male figure, and we're looking at the t-shirt. But I'm shopping for my brother, who's a little bit smaller than me. Um, so I, this is a, a model that I can rotate sideways. But what I can do is I can press on the plus button. And what it will do is it actually create a duplicate model with the same garment. What I can do is I can tap on this model and say, put a medium on this one, 
and put an extra large on this one. And you can already see the difference between how much, how tight the fabric appears to be on that particular model. And this is a result of the work that Avometric does with the physics simulation. And this is something that you actually can't really do in real life because you can't actually copy your body twice and you know, view yourself under two different, uh, two different uh, shirt types. But since uh, these are digital figures, we can show sort of a virtual uh, showroom in front of us. So this is uh, um, a dressing room by Gap, and it's an app that we expect to be available on the Play Store by the end of January. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. So let's take a look at another app, um, a game this time, yeah. um, by Hot Wheels. And I think what's cool with that, Johnny, as well, just is you can really see how the Zenfone ARs, the TriCam system, works together with Tango to really make sure that you're delivering the most accurate information, which is extremely important. The other thing, too, to note as well is with the Zenfone AR, you've got a Sony IMX318 sensor, 23 megapixel, which really helps to make sure that you're getting that true-to-life image and experience when you're using apps like this, which I think is really going to revolutionize the way that consumers are shopping and interacting with products. So, and as we go in, and I think another thing too to kind of make mention as well with the Zenfone AR, as Johnny mentioned, it's got a WQHD Super AMOLED display, which is really important whether you're using the dressing room app by, by Gap or you're even using this Hot Wheels demo to really make sure that the, the image quality and the colors are coming through as, as strongly as possible. Are we able to get the phone signal up? Okay. Ah, there we go. Cool. Um, so this is the Hot Wheels app um, uh, done in partnership between Mattel and Milk Room Studios. And it's uh, one of the great things about Hot Wheels is that when you were a kid, you could turn your whole living room into a racetrack or a play space. Uh, but you had to keep track of all the different plastic pieces and cars, and uh, it was a kind of a pain to clean up. And so what this app does is it allows you to have sort of a virtual playset that's placed in front of you. And uh, what we have here is a set of challenges in the game that have you uh, get a Hot Wheels car from the start to the finish. But you can see that the track is, isn't quite finished. We have to help uh, uh, complete the track in order to complete this challenge. Now to do this, uh, I can simply walk up and I get this hand icon which lets me grab this uh, piece of track. And if I... Um, if I was using a traditional uh, phone app, I'd have probably virtual joystick joysticks on the screen and buttons to move it left and right uh, or up and down. But because I have the full tracking capabilities of the phone, I simply drag it around the table to where I want it to be. Now, one of the things when I drag it to this part of the track, you'll see that it's too low. It's actually at the level of the table. So in order to raise the height of the track, Rather than fidget with a set of buttons on the screen, all I do is I raise the height of the phone and drop it. So all I had to do is move my hand up, and just in real life, uh, just like in real life, the track piece goes up. So let me go to the start position and launch the car. And he makes it over the hump and hits the soccer ball. So that's just an example of one of the um, uh, tutorials. But one of the neat things about the app is that we can actually see tracks that other people have built. So let me go to the community uh, track page and actually load up one of these showcase tracks. And you can see there's a lot more stuff going on here on this track. There's soccer balls, there's bowling pins, there's robots. There's other matchbox car there's other Hot Wheels cars that can be launched uh, when the car goes by. Uh, and we have these little booster uh, um, systems which will allow the car to pick up speed when it goes by. So I won't be able to talk through everything going on this track. So I'll just go ahead and start it off and be the cameraman for you. So click on launch, give it some power, and here we go. So over to loop-de-loop, -loop, launches the second car. And knocks over the robot. And there's another car here. 
knocks over the bowling pin. <laughs> so you can see that I can film the race from a bunch of different angles, and all I have to do is walk around it as if I was you know, filming this virtual playset uh, right in front of me. And as I mentioned, uh, to finish to clean up, all I have to do is hit reset, and everything's put in its back in its own place. Very cool. So that's the Hot Wheels app uh, that's already in the Play Store. Excellent, cool.